here we've been uh, emptying out our clay slurry. Uh, this machine's done a beautiful job on the clay slurry. There's hardly any clay left. It's all been um, put in suspension by the blades. Um, we have um, 200 litre barrel uh, full of clay slurry here. And uh, we've uh, got our, um, our Vassy grass um, on the back of the trailer here. Uh, we're going to add some uh, wood shavings and then we're going to toss it around like a, a salad. The clay is just a salad dressing on the natural fibres, which is our salad. So um, this is mixing up fast, um, uh, fortunately the wood dust uh, from the wood shavings uh, has settled down now because um, even if it doesn't have um, copper chrome and arsenic, uh, wood dust is uh, not good for your lungs. So uh, clay um, salad dressing is uh, going on well. We don't need to make this too wet. If we make it too wet then the slurry will um, come off the bottom of the um, wall and uh, make a puddle or whatever but we don't want to see anything like this that this obviously hasn't got any um, uh, clay on it uh, and it's dry and so um, we're pretty well um, we just want to get it all covered it just needs to be covered it doesn't have to be really wet it shouldn't be dripping um, off the bundles of light earth mix when we um, uh, tamp them into the wall it's getting close it's getting pretty damn close now So this is going well. Um, normally you don't put the slats in um, uh, before the shutters go on because the, it's hard to pack uh, the uh, light earth mix um, underneath the, the, the slats. Uh, but it seems to be working alright and we're going to do one more lift and then we'll take the uh, bottom shutters off and I'm sure she's going to be really sweet. Oh, um, so um, yeah, we have, a, have a, a audience of skeptics here. <laughs> A year of little faith. You've got to hold on because I hope the rat runs out. There's a worm in there. Now, we've got this, this hollow because we actually put the slats in first, which was important. We've got a slight hollow here, but that's nothing because we just bog it up with plaster. But um, that is um, looking very good <laughs> and so it's given us a beautiful level surface which we can uh, put some very fine finishing plasters on and you'd never know there was grass and wood shavings and clay in there because you won't see it <laughs> and you'll have a beautifully you'll have a very strong warm light wall this so we don't need pink bats pink bats are gone this is going to replace pink bats yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, down south they use straw, but we don't have straw up here. Germany? If you ever bought a bale of straw recently, it'll cost you like 30 story. bucks. Straw bales building. Yeah. Five stories. And what they do is they make the panels up. Yeah, like five story straw bale buildings in Germany. And then they arrive with the Just come from Germany.
take off the rust. Yeah, yeah, it's um so um when we took the shutters off we had a one of them slid down a bit and uh, it kind of pushed that, that bulged out a little bit but we're going to put the shutter back on to push that back in but you can see we've really got a beautifully smooth and level surface there and so we'll just put the shutter on to push that back together but because the shutter fell down it um, kind of um, slumped the, uh, the the lower the lower lift in the wall but um, it's repairable. So this has actually turned out very successful. You can see we're really going quite uh, narrow. Uh, we had a little bit of a stuff up because we um, one of our shutters slid down and did a little bit of damage, but we um, re recompressed it with a um, some uh, clamps and uh, some boards here, uh, and uh, it was only a minor little bulge uh, due to the. Um, Shut up, uh, falling down on it, but um, very repairable. Um, you know, we uh, and the incredible thing is how strong you know, you tap it and it's, it's tight. It's once this goes off dry and hard, I mean, it's going to be so strong and warm for an interior wall. Uh, really, this is some. Um, Quite exciting. Yeah, invasion. It's uh yeah, I just can't wait for it dries off and we can put some finishing plasters and finish up this whole uh, timber framing and I think that that'll uh, really prove something.